Lynn.com and I'm coming to you from the past. I, it is, let's see, it's November and I am recording this video early because I have so much in store for you for December, but every time I make a video and I'm editing it on my little computer, this wall drives me crazy. It's boring and this door is ugly and I had to do something about it before I got through Christmas. So what I've decided to do is give this wall a bit of a revamp. I've already painted this molding in a bright blue that matches the rest of the room and I thought what would be perfect to go in this space is a chalkboard, right? We're, we're all obsessed with them in all of our living spaces. But I had to do it on a budget, as always, so I couldn't just go out and buy $25 worth of chalkboard paint for this one little spot. So I'm going to show you how to make your own chalkboard paint. And the great thing about this is you can do it in any color that you want. You're not limited to black any longer. You can make it match whatever color scheme you can imagine. So the first thing that I did was I've got some books paint. This was just leftover um, mistinted paint I got for 75% off. And I knew I wanted some kind of a gray color, so I, I got lucky there. And then this is the other thing you'll need. Unsanded grout. Uh, you'll find this with the tile, and it's just grout you, like you would use when you're tiling, except it doesn't have the big chunks of sand. It's very, very fine. So you mix that together. And the ratio is about half a cup of paint to a tablespoon of the grout. And you'll just want to mix that really thoroughly. Make sure there's no clumps in there. I even let mine sit for a little while to make sure that everything had a chance to really meld together. And then I'm just going to use my little roller and paint this whole door. Here's my door all painted up and I let it get really good and dry like overnight and I learned that you really need to get a super thorough mix that grout really likes to clump up and does not like to mix with the paint so if you have a paint mixer attachment for your drill that would work great if you had a set of old beaters that you could dedicate to a craft project that would work great too um, but you really want to get it fine because you can see little bumps where I didn't quite get it mixed in and for my purposes it's going to be just fine. But if you want something with a really fine coat, you're going to want to take the time to mix it up. So now that this is all dry, I have to condition the chalkboard. So I've got a great big hunk of chalk here and I'm just going to color this entire door and then rub it off, or I guess rub it in, really. And once you do this, it'll make it so that whatever you write on it won't have a permanent shadow. The whole board will be conditioned so that you can erase it um, whenever you need to. So I've got a little bit more work ahead of me, but then I'm done, and I will be able to use this and all of my videos to explain what I'm going to be doing whenever I need a to-do list. That's always handy to have in a, in a workspace like this. And it's just pretty. It's much prettier than that ugly door was. And that alone is a relief. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today. Don't be afraid. Inject a little creativity into your life. Please subscribe to the channel and check out the blogs for lots more great ideas. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.